Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. So we are about to do two things, guys. One, we are gonna check out the Light Music Club, and two, we are gonna check out the Guidance Counselor, and not in that way, you sick perverts. Well, maybe in that way, because we're gonna see if she's looking nice in all the right places, so if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Is anybody in here? You're in here. Yo. Yo. We're the Light Music Club. Well, the names have been outdated. Last year we only did mood music, you know, the stuff you hear in elevators. But this year, we switched our focus to rock music. We're not just a club, we're a band, the Strawberry Thieves. There's room for one more if you'd like to join. It's okay if you don't have any experience, we'll help you get the hang of things. When we put on a show, tons of people show up. And if you can put on a good performance, people will absolutely adore you. Just between you and me, it's the fastest way to get popular at school. Hmm. Huh. What advantage would Yandere Chan have by being the most popular person in the school? I have no idea, but we are about to join this light music club right now. You want to join our band? Hell yeah, baby. Kick ass! Can't wait to see what you can do with an instrument in your hands. Oh, there we go, practice! You in the mood to play some music? Yes! Panther, very easy. Ooh, there's different levels? Alright, let's try Panther. Awesome! I'll get the band together right away. Oh, this is cool! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I gotta focus, guys. Oh. Oh, crap. I'm messing up. Oh, my God. This is easy? This is not easy! That's the hardest shit I've ever seen in my goddamn Gosh, life! Man, come on. I'm sorry. You gotta get it together. Yandere Dev, that was not easy at all. You kidding me? My fingers were all twisting and cramping in there. Okay, guys, so I restarted the day, but before we do anything else, we gotta check the info on this club leader right here. So her name is Miyuji Shan, and she is a social butterfly. Her club is Light Music Club, obviously. She's incapable of self-defense, but she is capable of rocking on, dudes, yeah! And no additional info available at this time. All right, guys, no more beating around the bush. We are gonna play Panther on quote, unquote, very easy. This is not very easy, by the way. Look at all these keys that I have to press. Have you guys ever played Rock Band? Very easy, you press like one note every 30 seconds. All right, let me focus, let me focus. Talking and playing, it's a no bueno. It's a no bueno for me, dog. Oh, my eyes are going cross-eyed. Oh my God. Easy my ass! Easy my ass! <laughs> that is not easy. I'm letting everybody in this light music club down. Wait, I think I got the hang of it. Okay, oh, what, what? Whoa. Oh, I thought that was the end. It fooled me. I didn't even know somebody was gonna sing. Get it, girl. Yeah, sing it with your heart, girl. Say it with your chest. I'm getting the hang of it, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay, now this part's easy. This is what I expected from a very easy. These notes right here, these little baby dick notes, this is what I expected to be doing the whole time. We got a 75. You suck. Okay, yeah, I'll take a 75. Ass. It's not a 100. Wait, what happened? Again? No. What's going on here? I got to do it again? I love this. I'm a fan of this. I like it a lot. Yeah. I don't know if I'm a fan of these, like, alien-looking, gumball-shaped head people. I got a hundred. Nice. I got a hundred. That's what I'm talking about. Look at Yan Chan throwing up the pisu. Wait, what happened? Why am I restarting this again? Guys, I think this is glitched. I'm trying to get out of here, but I can't stop playing the music. It's a trap, boss. It won't let me get out of here. Look at this, guys. I'm trying to get out of this little mini game, but it just won't let me get out. So once you beat it, there's no way to escape. There we go. Okay. So what did I get from that? Ooh, they're all here. Wait, where are you guys going? No, 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 no. We gotta play music. Look. Why do you fill me up, Buttercup, baby, just to let me down? See, come on, we're singing. We're the band. Can I talk to you again? Yo. Yo. Do you want to shred? Me too. But we should wait for the others. The band's getting together at five. Just wait a bit longer, and we can all jam together. Oh, I get it. We're strawberry thieves, so we jam, huh? Okay, you're so punny. Okay, so I had to restart my game again because it was bugging out. Let me see if I click practice, if we have anything other than never mind. Okay, how do I unlock these things? I want to play easy, normal, hard, and very hard. I want to see what Viagra very hard is like because very easy had a lot of notes to it. I bet you very hard is just going to look like the complete biggest just jumbo fuck of mess you've ever seen in your life. I can't wait till a very hard mini game comes out of this one because that one's going to be nuts. But anyway, let's see what this girl's name is. Her name is Beshi Takamine. She is the bassist of the Strawberry Thieves. 
A jack of all trades. She can play almost any instrument, but can't play any of them at a professional level. Ooh, the shade. Leaves complicated stuff to her bandmates. Willing to play backup instruments because she's bitch made when the song calls for it. Let's see what this girl's name is. Gita Yamahato. She is the former president of the Light Music Club, established her club on a whim, and only used it as a place to hang out with friends. After Miyuji demonstrated a desire to do something meaningful with the club, Gita happily transferred ownership of the club to Miyuji. Plays guitar. Oh, that's so dope. She is rocking out. Yo, I like this girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want you to post. No, throw down those pieces and keep throwing down those drumsticks on that little drum set you got. She was rocking out. Look at her face. Yeah, <laughs> get it, girl. Hold on, do it again, do it again. Yeah, <laughs> that's dope. I love that little animation right there. Okay, your name is Dora Tamamoto. This bitch's name is Dora, the drummer of the Strawberry Thieves. Originally felt uninterested in joining a band, but is now one of the most enthusiastic members. Yeah, I can see that. She doesn't mind performing at the back of the stage behind her bandmates because she becomes shy if there are too many eyes on her. Oh, so Dora has a little bit of that anxiety. I can relate, guys. When I see a lot of people, when there's like a crowd of people that know who I am, I get a little anxious myself. Like, I don't like dealing with that kind of pressure. But we got the girl with the keyboard. Her name is Kiba Kawaito, or Kawaito. You know there's always people in the comments that's like, Jay, it's not Kawaito, it's Kawaito. The keyboardist of the Strawberry Thieves strongly prefers synth instruments over traditional acoustic instruments, believes that the guitar is the coolest instrument to ever be invented, willing to back up instruments such as the cowbell when the song calls for it. Wait, she likes the cowbell? The cowbell is single-handedly the greatest instrument in the history of mankind. I would be honored if somebody asked me to play cowbell in a band and i think that's it right nobody's here on the first floor let me see yeah i think that was all the band members wait guys it's lunchtime and miyuji is sitting in the corner by herself what oh that's so dope <laughs> i love these animations that is so cool yeah here you, you do that i'll be over here Wait, she's back at her desk? Is my singing that bad that you went to your desk to do your homework? Why are you here? Are you in trouble? This is what my teachers used to do to me when I was being disruptive in class. Oh, she's gonna do it again. All right, all right, I'm going back, I'm going back. Baby, I got a plan. Run away fast as you can. Yeah, teamwork, let me talk to her. What? You in the mood to play some music? Kinda, not really. I still only can do very easy. I got a hundred on very easy. Why don't you let me unlock the easy one? Come on, just unlock it for me. Just unlock that easy mode for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's over here acting like a weirdo in the corner of the room. Let's see what the other girls are doing. Are they just playing instruments? They are. They don't even want to eat food. That's dedication right there. I respect that. Whoa, they're all here. And this time they're gonna play a song, all right. Where's my spot? Am I right here? All right. I'll be the guy who just keeps tempo. Yeah. Uh. Play it, girl. Sing it, girl. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. I'm rocking out so hard my hair came off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on, sing it, girl. Sing it for me one time, girl. Sing it with your bad self. I said sing it with your bad self. Let them know this shit makes my nipples hard. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, guys. See, I'm the hype man. I'm the hype woman over here. Yeah, give them the ooh-oohs. Give them the ooh-ooh-ooh-ooh. What the? Hey, can't you see we're playing a song here? Go back to the UK with that headband. Get out of here. Yeah. Everybody's excited. Woo! All right, no more, guys. Yo. Time to do the activity. Do you want to shred? Me too. But we should wait for the others. The band's getting together at five. Just wait a bit longer and we can all jam together. Uh, you guys are already all jamming together. And you guys all ate a burger. I didn't eat anything. I didn't even eat lunch. I was in here spying on you at the desk. All right, it is now 5.08. Don't ask me why it's not five exactly and why it's 5.08, but we are gonna do the club activity right now. Let's do it. The Light Music Club participates with their instruments. 
and there you go. All right, boys and girls, so we just checked out the music club, and I gotta say that I'm really impressed with how that turned out. I love the animations of the girls in the club, especially the drummer when she was rocking out in her own corner of the school. I think the mini game is bugged out, though, because it just put me in an endless loop of making me play the mini game again, even when I got 100 points. But we are about to get into the meat of this update, the guidance counselor, because she is the head honcho. So we gotta get in trouble, and then we gotta get sent to her office. So let's get it. Okay, this one's the simple one. We are gonna be late to class. I don't think that she's gonna send me to the guidance counselor just for being late, but it never hurts to try. So let's see. Please try to make it to class on time. Take your seat. Shut up. Okay, that's not gonna work. So we gotta do something a little bit more just mm worthy. I'm pretty sure holding a circular saw is mm worthy. So we are gonna get her attention right now and let's see if she sends us to the guidance counselor. Look what I got in my hands. What are you doing carrying something like that around? Have fun explaining this to the guidance counselor. I will. Dang, she mad? It should be obvious why, why you're so mad? here. You were spotted carrying something very dangerous around school. What were you thinking? Whoa, holy crap. Okay, um, flirt? We can flirt with her? Uh, let's see. Let's flirt with her first. Let's see what that's about. I got myself in trouble because I wanted to be sent to your office. <laughs> to be honest, I can't stop what thinking the heck about you. Is that? I think the two of us could make sweet music sweet together. Music. Oh, shit. E excuse me? Are you actually attempting to. <laughs> flirt your way out of this. That is the best choice are, ever. I would choose that every isn't single going time. To work. If you think you can get through life acting the way you've behaved today, you are sorely mistaken. Whoa! I'm sending you home for the rest of the day. You are hereby dismissed. Damn. I'm saying damn in a good way and a bad way. Good way because damn... Second way because, man, she was pretty intimidating, but let's see what happens if we pick the other choices. Okay, so we tried to flirt and it obviously didn't work. Let's see what happens when we threaten her. I don't have time for this. You have absolutely no Ooh, she's twitching idea too. who I am. I like that. Twitch, girl, twitch! What I am capable of doing. Let me out of here now before you get Hurt. Ooh. What? How dare you speak to me like that? Uh -oh. This type of conduct is absolutely uh -oh. unacceptable. <laughs> You'll be punished for this. Oh no. Oh damn, she did That's it again. It. I've had enough. I've spoken to the headmaster about you, and he's given me permission to expel you from Academy at my discretion. Under his authority, you are hereby expelled from this institution. Get out of my sight. Oh wow. So we're fully expelled. Due to her suspension, Yandere-chan will be unable to prevent her rival from confessing to Senpai. Yandere-chan will never have Senpai. Okay, so it's two strikes and you're out. Why can't it be like baseball? Give me one more chance. I'm not surprised to see you again. You've become a troublesome student. It's a big problem when a student keeps walking around school armed with lethal weapons. You're becoming a threat to the safety of others. I like how every time I've come here, this is my third time so far, she said something different. So we did flirt and threaten, so let's make an excuse. I found something dangerous just lying on the ground, so I was bringing it to a teacher to report it. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. In the future, to avoid this type of misunderstanding, simply inform a teacher about it instead of picking it up and carrying it around. I trust that this won't become an issue again in the future. You're free to leave. Really? That worked? That actually worked! Can I just talk to her? What can I her? help you with? Oh. Okay, never mind. Don't misbehave. I won't. That's cool that it like fades in and out of the counselor's office. Can I help you? Don't no. misbehave. I'm getting out of here. Do I still have my knife? I still have my knife! She didn't take the knife away! She let me walk out of the counselor's office with a knife in my hand. Okay, so the other one we didn't do is apologize. I understand what I've done wrong, and I sincerely regret my actions. I'll make sure to never act in such a manner ever again. It's refreshing to speak to a student with a respectful attitude for a change. I'm grateful for your cooperation. I trust that this won't become an issue again in the future. 
you're free to leave. This time, we are going to choose lie. Someone ran up to me and put this in my hand. I, uh, didn't see their face. Really? How stupid You couldn't think of a think better I lie am? than that? Do you honestly believe I would fall for such an obvious lie? If you think you can get through life acting the way you've behaved today, you are sorely mistaken. I'm sending you home for the rest of the day. You are hereby dismissed. So the last one we haven't chosen is apologize. I understand what I've done wrong, and I sincerely regret my actions. I'll make sure to never act in such a manner ever again. I've heard you say those exact words before. It's obvious that you aren't being genuine with me right now, and you probably weren't being sincere in the past, either. Uh-oh. It looks like we're not going to get she smells anywhere, that bullshit. So clearly aren't interested in having a productive conversation. I'm suspending you from school for three days. I hope it's enough to make you reconsider acting like this in the future. Wait, so it's Monday. She suspended me for three days, so now I have to wait until Thursday. It did. I like that. That's a nice little touch. Okay, so this time I'm not going to choose anything at all. Silence is an option. Is this what they call pleading the fifth? Your silence only makes this look worse, you know. You're not getting off the hook that easily. If you think you can get through life acting the way you've behaved today, you are sorely mistaken. I'm suspending you from school for four days. Four when days this time? Back, you'd better have a new attitude. My patience is wearing thin. How am I going to have a new attitude when I got a game over? So if that was Monday and I got suspended for four days, then it's going to fast forward all the way to Friday and then I'm foop. All right, guys, no more just having a knife in my inventory. This time we are going to get a little bit freaky. I'd like you to follow me, please. And I'd like you to step inside my office. Oh, he's not going to go in here with me, duh, because he's a dude. All right, hey, come here, come here. Follow me again. There you go. Right here, this is my office. Let me close the door and knife this hoe. Mm. Okay, so I'm not gonna bring the body, but I am gonna have bloody clothes. So let me just go into this office right here and let's see what they say about this blood. What in the world happened to you? Have you been fighting with other students? The counselor will deal with this. I like how I'm I still have all the blood in my hair. You again. You've become a troublesome student. Would you care to explain why you're covered in blood? Oh man, I wonder what I say here. Do I say all the same things or do I have like new excuses? Let me, let me flirt with her again. No, let me lie. I feel like the flirting answer is going to be the same thing. hit a stray animal in the middle of the street and the blood splashed on me. I find it extremely disrespectful that you actually believe I'm gullible enough to fall for such a flimsy excuse. You were gullible enough like to believe all the other shit that I said. Since you clearly aren't interested in having a productive conversation. I'm suspending you from school for five days. Five you days? Get De out of loca. my before I change my mind and make it an expulsion instead. God damn, baby girl. Five days? This time we are going to apologize for the blood. I understand what I've done wrong, and I sincerely regret my actions. I'll make sure to never act in such a manner ever again. What are you? A broken record? It seems you're only capable of repeating one phrase. If you think you can get through life acting the way you've behaved today, you are sorely mistaken. That's it! I've had enough! I've spoken to the headmaster about you, and he's given me permission to expel you from Academy at my discretion. Under his authority, you are hereby expelled from this institution. Get out of my sight! Okay, so I think that once you apologize one time, it works. And then all the other times, she's just like, you know what? This is some hardcore bull-ass shit. So I think the only thing that's different are, like, the lies and the excuses. But I think the apology is always going to be the same. Like, she's just going to say sorry for whatever she did, no matter what the situation. But let's check out the other choices. You know what? Let's try something different this time, guys. Let me have a bloody uniform and a knife out at the same time. And let's see what the guidance counselor has to say about that. Have fun explaining this to the guidance counselor. So is she only going to notice one thing because the teacher said... Have fun explaining what you're carrying around to the guidance counselor. Let me see. I'm not surprised to see you again. You've become a troublesome student. 
I'm not surprised to see you again. You've become a troublesome student. What? Wait, what? She said that twice. Talk about broken record. Okay. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna lie or flirt. I clicked flirt. I meant to click lie. I got myself in trouble because. And she said the same thing anyway. Okay, we're gonna skip this. All right, guys. So I restarted the game. So the guidance counselor thinks that we've only been there the first time. Let me try apologizing with the blood on my uniform, and then let's see what she says about that. So, we are just gonna apologize. I understand what I've done wrong, and I sincerely regret my actions. I'll make sure to never act in such a manner ever again. It's refreshing to speak to a student with a respectful attitude for Are you kidding me? I'm grateful for your cooperation. I have blood all over I my uniform and hair, won't become an issue and you're gonna accept my future. apology. You're free to leave. Why do hey? Okay, we're gonna make an excuse. Let's see if she buys that excuse that we hit a cat on the way to this school. This isn't blood. It's red paint. I accidentally spilled some paint on myself, and I was just on my way to wash it off. Ah, I see. The faculty member who brought you in here was completely convinced that it was real human blood. I'm relieved to hear that it was just a misunderstanding. I trust that this won't become an issue again in the future. You're free to leave. Wait, I'm not even in the art club, but you bought my bullshit excuse. How? She is so gullible. I can't believe that she bought that excuse. I'm not surprised to see you again. You've become a troublesome student. What am I supposed to think when a student is repeatedly sent to my office while covered in blood? I hope you understand how concerning this is. It is, it is, but we are going to lie. A car hit a stray animal in the middle of the street. And the blood splashed on me. <laughs> I find it extremely disrespectful that you actually believe I'm gullible enough to fall for such a flimsy excuse. If you think you can get through life acting the way you've behaved today, you are sorely mistaken. I'm sending you home for the rest of the day. You are hereby dismissed. Okay, guys, so we did all the options when we're covered in blood. Let's take it up another level, and let's see what happens when I have a body in my hand. Okay, this is going to be harder than I thought, because I just realized that there's so many people in one hall at one time. Like, there's so many people down this hallway right now. But I think this is my small window of opportunity right here. Let me see. Let me close this. There you go. Let me end his life. Ooh. Got it? Okay. Now we gotta pick him up real quick. Nobody saw that. And let's see what the teachers say. How could you? How could okay, you? yeah. I thought that I wouldn't get sent to the guidance counselor if I had a body in my hand. But I just had to try to make sure. Alright, let's try this out, guys. Let's giggle in the office. I'm sorry, but that you can't be here. Is completely I have to unacceptable. ask you to leave. I believe that a trip to the guidance counselor is in order. Alright, let's see how I explain myself when all I did was walk into the office and laugh my yandere ass off. Let's see what she says about this. It should be obvious why you're here. Because I laugh and I'm have a good time? I'm told that you've been exhibiting some disturbing behavior. Disturbing behavior, What's Deloka? wrong? Let's just give an excuse. I wanted to liven up the mood, so I tried to put on a funny little act. It, I was only joking around. It was a joke. I understand the desire to make your peers laugh, but you went overboard this time. In the future, don't take things so far, and there shouldn't be any problems. As long as you don't make a habit out of doing this, there won't be any problems. You're free to leave. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. Wait, what? That was weird. Okay, so we are going to laugh again, but this time, instead of making an excuse, we are- Can you stop pushing me? This time, we're going to lie. Oh. Where am I? How did I get here? <laughs> I guess I must have... No, she's amnesia. using the amnesia excuse. If you're going to make up an excuse, you should at least put some effort into it. A child could see through your lies. It looks like we're not going to get anywhere since you clearly aren't interested in having a productive conversation. I'm sending you home for the rest of the day. You are hereby dismissed. Let me try something real quick, guys. Let me see if I can grab the body and then let me see if I can go inside the guidance counselor's office. Let's see. I can. What can I help you with? And I have the body in my hands. I can't believe this. This is ridiculous. Are you serious? Don't misbehave. Don't misbehave. Yeah, I'm certainly not misbehaving. Look at this. What can I help you with? <laughs> you know what? Let's cover up our blood with the paint. And then let's see what happens. What in the world happened? 
happened to you? Have you been fighting with other students? The counselor will deal with this. It should be obvious why you're here. Would you care to explain why you're covered in blood? Okay, this time we're gonna apologize. And the feet are still sticking out in the back. I understand what I've done wrong, and I sincerely regret my actions. I'll make sure to never act in such a manner ever again. It's refreshing to speak to a student with a respectful attitude for a change. I'm grateful for your cooperation. I'm choosing to trust you. Please don't give me any reasons to regret it. You're free to leave. Okay. And then this time, I'm gonna get caught again with what the blood. What have you done?! Wait, what? Oh, no, no, I was just near the body. I didn't Stop do anything. Right now. No, 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 I didn't no. do anything! Okay, guys, so I went into the demon world, and now there's two additional demons in here. This person... Ah, we meet at last. I am quite familiar with your work. You have been feeding me well. I have? Cool. You know, I was supposed to make my debut before you did. You have caused a delay. No matter. In time, all will become acquainted with me. I will look forward to seeing how you choose to overcome your hardships in the future. What the? Who is this guy supposed to be? He has horns coming out of his head. He looks just like an outline, like he's not established like the flame demon or what that mouth do or even her. And there's another girl right here. We are one. We are many. We are everywhere. We are nowhere. We will return. Girl, you ain't making no damn sense. Oh, that's it? That's all you had to say? Okay, guys, so there's a lot that has been going on in this episode. The Light Music Club, the Guidance Counselor, and these two new people right here. I want you guys to let me know any theories, any myths, any questions, anything that you have about this game, because I am going to upload a new Yandere Simulator myth series as soon as I can. Let's get some good ones going in the comments, guys. Like, who is this? How do you think I can activate her power? How do you think I can activate his power? How do I unlock that question mark option in the guidance counselor's office? Anything else you want to know about this game, leave them down low in the comments below. But if you guys enjoyed this video and can't wait for the next one, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is the dude!